is Corinne, and I am here at Ruffner Mountain Nature Preserve with my friend, Erin, who takes care of their rattlesnakes. Do you want to tell us about our rattlesnake friend here, who's a little bit shy? Absolutely. So, this is a timber rattlesnake, and they are native to Alabama. You can find them pretty much from the lower portion of Alabama all the way to the top of Alabama. They have some really cool features, my favorite feature being the rattle. So, you can't hear it because this glass is super thick, but right now this rattlesnake is shaking its tail. And on the tip of the tail, it has a rattle. That rattle is made out of the same thing that our fingernails are made out of. So the sound happens when a ridge of the rattle touches another ridge of the rattle and it makes a sound that kind of sounds like this. I once read a book that said that if we had the same vascularity in our legs, these guys, as rattlesnakes had just in the tip of their tail, we would be able to run over 90 miles per hour. Can you run 90 miles per hour? I cannot run 90 miles per hour. No, I'm not sure I can run one mile an hour. Yeah, me either. <laughs> So are you telling me that rattles do not have beads in them? No, so a lot of people think that they're like, you know, you guys ever seen a maraca? You're all like Well that was more of like a, a semi. But anyway, maraca, the little things that you shake, they got the little beads in them, makes a loud sound. That's not that's not how the rattle is. Like I was saying, it's made out of the same material that our fingernails are made out of, and that's called keratin. Big word, keratin. Big word. But basically it's just a big old word that means dead skin. Yeah. So if you guys ever encountered one of these, it would be best. And I advise you to not touch it with your hands. Anytime here at Ruffner that we're trying to take care of the rattlesnake, we use tools that are really, really long and they create a big distance between us and the snake. This snake can hurt us with its venom. That doesn't mean that it's bad, though. Okay. So, you know, some people say that venomous snakes are bad snakes. Mm -hmm. Well, they're really not. They use their venom to eat their food. So, really, you can think of it kind of like how we use forks, knives, and spoons. Mm -hmm. That's how they use their fangs and their venom. Wow. So, their fangs inject a poison that makes their prey expire. And that could happen if they bit us. It's not likely, but that's why we want to be cautious and never pick up a snake. That seems like the smart thing to do. So these guys, a lot of people think that rat snakes lay eggs. A lot of people think that all snakes lay eggs. Well, guess what? That's not true. What? Are you serious? It's not true. Do they have babies? They have babies. What? That's crazy. Wow. A rattlesnake? Rattlesnakes have babies. Rattlesnakes have babies. They don't come out in eggs. Okay. How long has she been at Ruffner Mountain? Oh, let's see. We got her in 1997, so she has been here. Wow. She's older than you guys. She's been here a minute. Wow. That's... She's really old. So in the wild, she might eat uh, small mammals that include, uh, you know, rabbits. Um, she might eat birds, uh, rodents, including rats, mice. <laughs> Would you like to eat a rat or a mouse? Yeah, me neither. Talking about rattlesnake babies reminds me of a really good story that I have called Baby Rattlesnake. So let's go to the library and hear that story. This story is called Baby Rattlesnake, and it's an old Native American tale. But my favorite version is the one told by Te Ata, a famous Native American storyteller. This book is adapted by Lynn Maroney, and the pictures are by Vess Riceberg. Well, once upon a time, in the place where the snakes lived, there was a baby rattlesnake. And he really, 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 really really wanted a rattle. His mama had a rattle. His papa had a rattle. 
Oh, the other snakes that were older than him had rattles. But he didn't have a rattle. I really, really want a rattle. Why can't I have a rattle? I'm a rattlesnake. I need to have a rattle. Why? Please, please. Mama said, shh. Stop crying. You're not old enough. Ah, but I really want a rattle. And Papa said, shh. Stop crying. You're not old old enough. But baby rattlesnake cried all day, even when everybody said shh. And he cried all night, even when everybody said shh. He cried so much that none of the other rattlesnakes could get any sleep. So finally, the elders of the rattlesnakes went to mama and papa and said, you must give the child a rattle. Yes, 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 he is too young, but he will be foolish, he will make a mistake, and he will learn his lesson. We just really want to get some sleep. So Mama and Papa gave Baby Rattlesnake his very own rattle. behind rocks and jump out and scare the other animals with his rattle. <gasps> oh, are you scared? He scared the rabbit. Boo! He scared the prairie dog. Boo! He scared the turtle. Boo! Mama and Papa said to him, baby rattlesnake, be careful. Don't scare somebody who's bigger than you because something bad might happen. You have to be careful. But Baby Rattlesnake went on scaring anybody he could with his rattle. I have a rattle. I have a rattle. I love my rattle. I love my rattle. And then one day, he was hiding behind a rock on the path, waiting for somebody to come up that he could scare, when he saw a beautiful girl walking down the path. She had on a long dress covered with brightly colored beads. Her hair was in a braid all the way down her back, and she wore soft leather moccasins. <gasps> it must be the chief's daughter. Ooh, I'm gonna scare her. This is gonna be so and so, as the chief's daughter drew closer to Baby Rattlesnake's hiding spot, he waited and he waited until he jumped out. Boo! And the chief's daughter said, Oh! And she stopped on his rattle. And it broke into 20, maybe 30 pieces. And she ran off. Rattlesnake looked at all of the pieces of his beautiful rattle scattered all over the ground. <laughs> Never gonna be able to put it back together again. Baby Rattlesnake slithered home as fast as he could and he went to Mama and Papa and he said, The chief's daughter came and she stepped on my rattle and I tried to scare her but she broke my rattle and now I don't have a rattle anymore. <laughs> And Mama and Papa gave him hugs and kisses and they tucked him into bed and baby rattlesnake didn't ask for a rattle again until he was old enough to use it wisely. The end. Well, I want to say thank you to Ruffner Mountain and to Aaron for teaching us so much today about rattlesnakes. I learned a whole lot. I hope you did too. If you want to learn more about rattlesnakes and other kinds of snakes, well, you know we have lots of books here at the library. You can come down, you can check them out, you can read them and learn. And you can also support Ruffner Mountain Nature Preserve and visit them. 
I hope you guys have a great summer of reading. Bye!